Hey folks, welcome back to another HP Gaming Game Link video. Today we have another Marvel Champions unboxing for you. Yes, we are catching up and getting through all of our crazy Marvel Champions LCG content. Today we're going to be exploring what it's like to have a symbiotic relationship and dipping our toe into anti-hero waters as we take a look at the Venom Hero Pack for Marvel Champions The Card Game. Hey folks, welcome back. For those of you who don't know me, and you should by now, my name is Matt, and as I said at the outset, we are again, once again, looking at some Marvel Champion stuff, in particular, the Venom Hero Pack, which I'm very excited to get into. It looks like it has a whole manner of craziness inside. Uh, and the last couple of packs we've opened have been quite the eye-opener, so we're very excited to see what Venom brings to our games. For those of you who've been watching along, uh, yes, we have had a bit of a backlog. There's lots that we've had to catch up on. Very excited to say that in the not-too-distant future, Mad Titan's Shadow is finally, finally going to get a bit of a look, and I can add all that to our collection. But as we all know, we've got the Venom Hero Pack here. We're going to open that one up. Uh, we've got the pack of cards, which we'll go through shortly. But as always, they have the poster, which is exactly what it is on the outside of the box, but just in much bigger art form. And we dig it, there he is. Look at that. Looking absolutely crazy boss, symbiotic relationship, gone absolutely mad. I love the fact you've got the dual wield, but then you've got a third gun coming out as well. The art in this game is just as sublime as we've come to know and expect from Marvel. But as I've said in the outset, and I've said in other videos that we do with Marvel Champions, this isn't what it's about. It's about what the, it's about what's in the pack of cards. So come on down to the table and we'll take a look what our Venom has in store for us. And there it is, the Venom Hero Pack for Marvel Champions in all its stunning glory. Now, obviously, we had already opened it to get the bits out. We're going to take the pack of cards out so we can take a little bit of a look-see. I will show you just before we get into the packs themselves or pack themselves. You've got the artwork there, which is just absolutely fantastic, as we saw before. But on the reverse, as always, a little bit of information about the Hero Pack, how it's constructed, frequently asked questions about uh, the enraged symbiotes that are in this pack. And then you've got the justice aspect. That's how it's all about. Now, I believe this is Flash Thompson, um, not uh, Venom, as we saw in the first or third Spider-Man movie, I should say. But hey, not what we're here for. We're here for cards. So shut up, Matt. Let's get into the cards, shall we? Now, Marvel Champions fans out there, please let me know if you've played with Venom, if you've uh, used him or her or it in, um, in play, what your favourite cards are. If you've built your own deck with Venom, of course, plastic, as we know, goes on the floor. Uh, let's have a look at the deck and uh, put it to some good use. First and foremost, there he is. Venom, one thwart, two attack, two defense. Guardian, Space Knight. You can control one additional upgrade that has the restricted keyword. Oh, so there we go. We can actually uh, do some extra damage and build a deck with a bit more uh, flair. I like that. Symbiotic Bond, resource. Take one damage, generate a wild resource, limit once per phase. And there he is, Flash Thompson. You can control one additional upgrade that has the restricted keyword. Armed and ready, set up. Discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a weapon upgrade, then add that card to your hand. Hit points 12, hand size 6, recovery of 4. And Venom has a hand side of five, uh, but 12 hit points. That one hit point could be all the difference. It's really nice. I like that. Behind enemy lines, uh, thought. Look at that art. He's just made for trouble, isn't he? Hero action, remove three threat from a scheme. If you pay for this card using only science resources, confuse an enemy as well. That's about right. Behind enemy lines, grasping tendrils. Yes, please. Oh my gosh. Reminds me of the darkness, the video game, the darkness. Hero interrupt uh, when this villain initiates when the villain initiates attack against you cancel that attack if you pay for this card using only um, aggression resources stun the villain again gasping tendrils locked and loaded ready for action search your deck for a weapon upgrade and add it to your hand then shuffle your deck that's a free card I love that that's so cool run and gun 
Ready Venom at each weapon upgrade you control. There's only one locked and loaded card. Wow, that's because it's powerful. That's a skill. So you can take uh, Ready Venom and each weapon upgrade you control. Wow, that's going to be, if you've had a turn where you've spent a lot of stuff, you can really do some damage with that one. There's a couple of those in there, but they do cost three, so it's expensive. Savage Attack costs two. Hero Attack, deal five damage to an enemy. If you pay for this using only energy resources, this attack gains overkill, so you can smack on to the villain as well. And there's a few of those. Ooh, Project Rebirth 2.0, Alter Ego Action. Exhaust Project Rebirth, choose to either draw one card or heal three damage. That is a nasty little support card, but I like that. So effectively, if you were obviously in alter ego form, you could recover seven hit points in one turn from one action, effectively. Ouch. Uh, then you've got here upgrades, three, cost three, multi-gun, tech weapon, restricted, exhaust multi-gun and choose one of the following, deal two, um, in, uh, two damage to an enemy, choose a player, deal one damage to each minion engaged with that player or remove two threat from a scheme. You've got Spider Sense. When the villain initiates attack against you, you get to draw a card. Venom's Pistol, restricted. When you use one of Venom's basic powers, exhaust Venom's Pistol. Venom gets plus one to the power for this phase. There it is again, another pistol. So you could have two of those out in play if you wanted to. Jack Flag, aka Jack Harrison. Two thwart, one attack, cost of four, three health. After Jack Flag thwarts, place one ammo counter on him. Hero action, exhaust Jack Flag and remove one ammo counter from him. Deal two damage to an enemy. Scare tactic, cost of one. Deal three damage to a confused enemy. Again, I like that, but you've got to be, have them confused first. That's not as simple. Making an entrance, interrupt, cost of one. When your hero makes a basic thwart, it gets plus two thwart for that thwart. After that thwart ends, if your hero removed all threat from a scheme, that way you get to heal two damage. I like that. I like that. That's kind of handy. Power of Justice. We know about that. That's a resource wild card. Sonic Rifle. Uses two charge counters restricted. Exhaust Sonic Rifle and remove one charge counter from it. Confuse an enemy. Deal three damage to that enemy if he's already confused. There you go. That's how you put the confuse markers on. And there's three of them in the deck. Star-Lord Peter Quill. Star-Lord's attacks gain ranged when he attacks. Force response. After Star-Lord enters play under your control, deal yourself one face-down encounter card. Now, if you saw our Star-Lord unboxing and you know a little bit about that, you'll know that he has face-down encounter cards, which are effectively adding bonuses. But then, of course, in the villain's phase, those encounter cards will resolve by flipping face up and you'll have to deal with whatever nasty. So it is very much a risk versus reward. I kind of dig that, though. Energy resource, genius resource, strength resource... And then speaking of resources, we've got Resourceful. Discard Resourceful to generate a wild resource. I think we've seen that card before. Uh, then you've got Side Holster. Play out any player's control. You can control one additional weapon upgrade that has the restricted keyword. So you can bring even more stuff out. If you have them you know, running in tandem with the, the Venom base card, you can control one additional card that has a restricted keyword. Wow, so you can get lots of stuff happening. Lots of guns. All about the guns. Plasma Pistol. Restricted max two restricted cards, uses three charging counters, exhaust plasma pistol, pistol, excuse me, and remove one charge counter from it to deal one damage to an enemy. And there's three of those there. Here we go, the obligation, struggle for control. Well, that sounds about right, doesn't it? Exhaust Flash Thompson and take two damage to discard this obligation. You may put one set aside copy of Enraged Symbiote into your play, engage with the first player. If you cannot, this card gains Surge. Discard this obligation. All right, then we have the Enraged Symbiote. Uh, guard, patrol, one, uh, two attack, uh, two damage. While this means engaging, you can't support the mass screen. Venice, Vem, Venoms, I should say, Nemesis Minion. Boost, put Enraged Symbiote into play, engage with you. And this is the uh, Clintar Frenzy side scheme. The Venom symbiote is distraught, bonding with everyone it touches and sending him into a destructive rage. Threat cannot be removed from this scheme while a symbiote enemy is in play and it deals you an encounter or an extra encounter card. And it has two uh, thought or two scheme, I should say, two, two threat, I think it is actually, sorry, per player when it comes into play. Along with three boost icons, another enraged symbiote. There's, there's a few of those here, four in fact. And then of course we get to the deck list and the cards that we can use for deck building and things as well. First of all, we have 
Fusillade, which is a hero action. Exhaust a weapon upgrade you control and deal five damage to an enemy. Wow. And it's only costing two. Well, you better have a weapon in play. There's a couple of those. There's three Fusillades. Welcome aboard. Play only if your identity has the Guardian trait. Maximum one per round. Hero action. Reduce the resource cost of the next ally played by two. Again, costs zero to bring out. That's fantastic. A uh, bit of Groot action for us now. Shake it off. Costs one. Hero response. After a Guardian character takes any amount of damage from an attack, give that character a tough status card. That's cool. I like that. Uh, crew quarters, support, play under any player's control, max one per player. Alter ego action, exhaust crew quarters to heal one damage from an alter ego. An alter ego, not your alter ego. So you can heal from anyone. Oh, that's fantastic too. I like that because you can actually have that in your deck as a way to heal other players. That's awesome. Let's come out and talk about our first impressions for our friend here, Venom the Crazy Symbiote. And there it is, the contents of the Venom Hero Pack for Marvel Champions, the card game, Marvel Champions LCG. What are your thoughts? Have you played with Venom? If you have, what sort of deck? Did you stick with Justice or did you go with something a bit different? I'd love to see what Venom runs as with an aggression deck, an aggression builder. I know there's plenty out there. Uh, if you've used Venom in different packs and different attacks, have you taken him through Mad Titan's Shadow or Galaxy's Most Wanted, any of the campaigns that are out there? Uh, I, I guess Venom looks like he is an anti-hero who is going to excel at bringing out a lot of those restricted cards. As I said, lots and lots of guns, which is awesome. And having a lot of those upgrades and supports in play means that you won't have to rely on allies. He's gonna be able to go it alone and do some heavy, heavy damage. The recovery aspect, being able to heal seven per turn means you can stay out there longer and keep doing damage, then flip over to recover and bring out those other cards again depending on which cards you play versus which cards you spend as costs or as resources. <clears throat> Again, it's that, that age old question, which cards do you play? Which cards do you use to generate those resources to play other cards? And obviously with the hand size of only five, there are very few options you can do on your turn. But once they're in play, if it's not an ally, it'll stay in play until it's destroyed and you can use it at your leisure potentially every turn of the game. And that is bloody fantastic. Uh, look, let me know your thoughts, folks. If you've played with Venom, have you got a favorite hero that you've uh, been using? Have you got a favorite build you've been using? I'd love to know what you're working with. Uh, by all means, please let us know in the comments below. Uh, hit that subscribe button as well. And a thank you as well to all our Patreons. As always, thank you very much for allowing us to do all the crazy fun stuff we get to do here at HB Gaming Game Link. Uh, until then, folks, get some Marvel Champions at the table. Have a great, great, great rest of your week. And we'll see you back at the table with more crazy gaming fun very, very soon. Until then, bye for now.